Hey, Charlie, my n Do you be eating my booty? Ankle monitor. <laughs> that was so Dude, loud. We are all afraid of something. Some of us are afraid of ghosts. So afraid. Some of I us really. are afraid of having an ugly baby. Some of us are afraid that we might have said here. It's not even your fault. I'll be pissed. A little too off today, and now you think everyone in your class thinks you're weird. But I assure you, they don't. To be frank, they don't even remember you exist. To put it all together, we all fear something. And that's just a normal part of being human. What y'all fear? I mean, it was, but it wasn't also. So basically, the cops are being petty is what I'm hearing. Yo, my fear of heights. Heights and tarantulas. I'm trying to think. Yeah, heights and tarantulas. That's it. I don't want to hear anybody say, I don't fear nothing. I ain't scared of anything. Okay. What if I dropped a deuce on your couch while you weren't home? That's the big smelly one too. It could probably compete with Amber Heard's. Then you come back home to a worldwide a blackout. On your couch oh yeah, I'd be scared for that. Next to it that I wrote reading. So I'll it's be back out. Quote, don't fear anything. I guarantee. But hey. They'll take it off. Shoot. Freaking. Would have tried to put like a complaint on him or something. Hopefully he did. Freaking dumb. Yeah, for real. For me coming after you. Don't worry about that stuff too. I'll I'll edit it out out of the video, so you ain't gotta worry about you know the internet knowing your own business. Your bed sheets every night. You're gonna be having nightmares on top of nightmares, fearing for the day that I return. Also, that's a straight lie. Everyone has a fear. Having fears is a regular thing. In fact, I'd argue being fearful of certain stuff is what makes us function through day to day life. Think about it. Why do you get good grades? So you can get recommended to a good university? No! You get them because if your parents saw bad grades on your report card, you're said. getting your ass whooped. Exactly. You're afraid of that beating. If there was no punishment, you'd yeah. be rocking that 0.02 .02 GPA like a boss. You got a real bright future ahead of you. Nah, I feel like in you're most army, definitely in the right because so you asked for a female officer. They're going to have you in the front lines. Also, why don't you take dumps in the school bathroom? They sometimes have working toilets like everywhere else. So why not use it? Because you fear two dudes will walk in the bathroom as you do the number two, commenting how much it stinks in there. Then they notice your feet in one of the stalls, and they walk over to your stall, shaking the doors and throwing wet toilet paper over the door at you. Like, don't you know I need that to wipe my butt? I'm running out! We all have our fears. Let's just say I only did my business twice in middle school. First time was a mistake. How was I supposed to know there was an unwritten rule that you're not supposed to use a toilet the way it's supposed to be used? And the second time was an emergency. I was leaking Even out of both orifices. Later. Thank God nobody walked in on me. If someone did, the room would have smelled like a piece that of That is terrible. Chair. But I digress. Those fears I just listed are some of the pre-built-in fears for all humans. Imagine if we weren't born with these pre-built-in fears, then that would truly be fear of nothing. Like telling your barber how you really feel about your haircut, or farting in church, kind of. And that's a room I don't want to smell, so I'm thankful for fears. But when thinking no about way they did freaking thinking more scary stuff. Like Freak, I forgot his name. And the I already forget the Young Thug's name. The ones we try and the lawyers, so exactly. The ones that keep us up at night the most. Finding out and realizing the true horrors of what the world is capable of. Like your Uber driver. I am not rich. Don't you dare, Juju. With them, and while you're in the car, now is the time they test the speed on how fast this car can go. That's the fear of death. We could die at any moment. We could get a heart attack. We could get cancer. We could try ego lifting. I ain't gonna lie, let that. So, yeah, 17, yeah. We could get a heart attack. We could get cancer. This fool really said we could get cancer and put an episode of Victorious in here. When, when she. That is low key, high key. Like you, you close. Yo, he was he was walking a thin line of getting canceled. He's walking a thin line. Evil. We could get struck by lightning. Vax just comes out of nowhere. We could fall down the stairs. We could get stomped by an elephant. Y'all ever fell down the do stairs? I did once. Challenge. We could fall out the bed. Did you know 450 people die per year by falling out the bed? That's mad. We could get shot. We could ah. get stabbed. 
We could cause the third impact. We could be vampires and accidentally suck the blood out of Magic Johnson. The waves <laughs> of dying are literally endless. There's no stopping it. No, this would be if I became a vampire and I'm immortal and accidentally. Oh, nah. Oh, like if mad. there really is a heaven and a hell and the Jehovah Witnesses are right, then 99.9% .9 of us are going to hell. Not me, though. Me and Jesus are chill. Or what if Pick it's up. reincarnation? What if we get born into a new body? And if that's true, whoever's in charge, please don't don't reincarnate me into someone that was born in fucking Nebraska. Oh, that's a scary fear. I will take no leg dumb baby before I take Nebraska baby. Hey. Does reincarnation include animals too? Will I be born again as a filthy fly, a giraffe, a turtle, or a goat? Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. I don't know if I want to look like Mbappe anymore after after that. I, I ain't gonna lie, he kinda, he kinda, that was kinda disrespectful. <laughs> but a scarier fear than the bleakness of death is the fear of the unknown. What do you mean, or Tennessee Dreamer? Listen, come here, come here, come here. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? No, no, we're, we're not even, we're not even moving anywhere. We're gonna sit right here until, until you explain what you mean with Tennessee. Because Tennessee is boring and all, but I ain't gonna let you disrespect, you know, my state. You know what I'm saying? So, so come on. No. Don't you dare laugh at this. Don't you dare. No one. What do you mean no one's to live there? I'm so sleepy. My son is growing. Uh, you just, just. Okay, Tennessee's boring. We don't got nothing fun here. Are you massaging his gums? Yo. You're, you're stronger than me because I feel like. For like three hours, <laughs> that's commitment. At least with death, that's that's, that's, a, du that's a W that's mother. W all. mother in the chat. The unknown, it's spookier because you have no idea what's in store for you. There's Both no got a way kid. for you to prepare for something Who? you have no idea about. And since it's non-comprehendable, you don't even know if this unknown is coming for you or not. <gasps> for all we know, it could be all in your head, which makes it even scarier. A situation where the unknown is feared could be like, remember those. Don't ever do. You're the only Tennessee. Tennesseans hate that. Stupid. What was inside? Those were cases. If you use that on the Tennessee girl, I promise to not send you losing her. And touching a cute hamster inside, or you could be grabbing a bomb. You never know. The unknown is a scary thing, and it's even worse when it regards your life because the thing that's coming after it is a being of improbability like example when we were kids and it was nighttime and we were in our rooms when we suddenly started craving a midnight snack you open the door and see the dark about to tell here gg and now you're staring it down debating you're gonna lose cure or not you don't know what's lurking okay, in i feel the dark. like that's a good Fucking thing anyway Hook and her, the her takes are crazy with each other in the dark i don't know that's why back then you decided to stay in your room for the night mm -mm, trying to be safe classic fear of the unknown and we all run on that fight or flight mode in which every time we always take flight. I myself got some fears involving the unknown. And it's those demon games. You know, Bloody Mary, Ouija boards, all that stuff. Nah, you'll, you'll never see me playing with no Ouija those. board. The whole point of these games is to play I ain't, with I ain't, demons. Exactly. This is supposed to be a game? This is supposed to be a fun group activity? Why do some friends want to play this? Like if we play Ouija board, say his name three times in the mirror, you'll basically in like scenario, he don't show up and you guys just wasted your time with this game. Worst case scenario, he is real and he pops out of the mirror and kills us. What is the point of playing this game? Either we die or Yo, he is so compassionate. Or fun. God, I don't dang. play with demonic species. Anybody same would be scared of that. And one more thing. Your older brothers wanted you dead, Vax. I ain't gonna lie. Your older brothers wanted you dead. <laughs> Every death with crime always going on. You never know if the Is somebody made Jesus mom? I never understood it. I never did that Bloody Mary stuff. It was a ploy to steal your pants. People hating because they're uneducated. People being violent just to be violent. By the looks of it, history just repeats itself. But only the bad history. Not to mention the stupid bugs and new diseases that people I want a husky. I want two huskies. Last time, it was a virus. Last, last time, it was Ebola. Because you should like supposed to like pop up in the mirror, I think is what people are scared of. Money, and now it's worth half as much as what it was worth 10 years ago. And the worst thing to come out of inflation is Little Caesars is like $10 now. What the hell is this world coming to? I always feared this day, but I didn't think it would happen this soon. Yo, this I fool got edits on edits on 
living edits, it, bro. Unless I make like half a mil per year. This is unsustainable. Yo, Little Caesars is world. like seven dollars a pizza, y'all. Or at least the U.S. I don't know. I should leave. My next destination is gonna. It's be like seven dollars after tax. The world really is an unpredictable, scary place. And it gives me the shakes. <laughs> but even fears like the bad things that are happening around the world hold us back. I hope so one day I could make vids like, like him. Still have hope for us. Shoot, we you already on your way there, Dreamer. Always fight back. We never let anything this full, like he has unlimited videos like god dang just because we're scared of a few things doesn't mean we're cowards we always climb any obstacle that's in front of us no matter how scary we think it is that's, that's... we will conquer and achieve enlightenment and grow as people while doing it you and i might be scared of a few things is that sean michaels oh yeah oh yeah we shall <laughs> look at that fears. strength we shall i'm looking at that dog in him and in conclusion I'm still never skydiving. Facts. The Facts. Skydiving. Skydiving is my fear as well, bro. He doesn't see ya. You're not looking at me, boy. Yeah. The boy's a liar. Man, why, why was it so short? Some BS. Boat DM. <laughs>